Dude, wait. So yesterday, you know how I called him? I was like, what's your Instagram? He's like, oh, Instagram. What's your phone number? I was like, Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Good morning, everyone. Actually, it's like 1 p.m. It's a Friday. I have class in an hour. For today's video, I was thinking because since Thanksgiving is right around the corner and I'm probably gonna vlog then too, but I also wanted to vlog like a weekend before that as well. So I'm gonna go out later to get dinner with my friends. I'm really excited for Thanksgiving because I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a tradition where everyone just gathers around in New York within like the international school community. So it's like basically Korea all over again. But for this year, it might be a little different because not many people are gonna come since it's our sophomore year. Everyone came last year and it was really fun, but a lot of guys are in the military right now. We're gonna see each other in the winter as well. Anyway, so... Oh! My Uggs came today. I really wanted to wear them for class, but I still haven't picked it up. Should I pick it up quickly? I got the package. I need to quickly open it so that I can go to class. I only have like 30 minutes left. Oh my god, it fits perfectly. I'm probably just gonna wear be right back. But I'm just gonna wear um these sweats and probably my glasses to seem a little smart. Oh my gosh, I have to leave soon. I need to get my Starbucks. Okay, well I'll be right back after class. A sleeve and a scrub. Yes. So it is currently 6 30 p.m. The sun is setting so quickly these days. Um, Taylor's on her way. She's 30 minutes away. Um, I'm just getting ready. I erased my base makeup. I'm redoing everything right now because my base was so ass. So I just put my primer. My favorite primer. It's so good. I saw it on TikTok. I'm not really sure what the plan is. Uh, she's gonna come to my house to get ready because she doesn't like her makeup. And then we're gonna go out to get dinner. After that, we're kind of thinking of going out. My other friend also texted me. He was like, what are you doing tonight? Like, let's go out tonight. I was like, what's the plan? What's the word? here you oh shit it's already started yes i was gonna like post on my insta story for people to ask questions oh you should do it right now i literally look like a goblin <laughs> <laughs> you, you take it i, I don't know how to take it. Mm, mm, mm. yeah that's, that's yeah. cute yeah. yeah but um yeah sorry um oh okay 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 Let's start with a fire one. One, tips on fake friends, please, because they be growing by the population. I don't have a lot of fake friendships in my life right now. I kind of weeded all of them out. So the only time that I've ever like had a fake friend was like when I couldn't stop being friends with her because she was friends with all of my friends. So like I had to make it work. But in general, I feel like my opinion on fake friends is like if they're not serving you with any purpose, then like, what you doing, girl? They gotta go. Wait, I used to have fake friends too, but honestly, I feel like now you don't though. I, I feel don't. like everyone in your life but now are like. The problem is that I cut off like ninety percent of my friends because they're all fake, and now I only have like three. That happened to me actually. <laughs> I think that also happened to me a lot when I transitioned from high school to college. Yeah. Because in high school, it's so easy to just like be close but not that close because mm -hmm. you have like that big relatability of like 
we go to the same school like we have the same friends like we go out to the same places like we're involved in the same drama mm -hmm. and then when you go to college and everyone goes into different places you lose that like kungamte. yeah so then like you can't be friends yeah unless you really like each other how did you guys become so close after a short time okay. we've already talked about this when we were in Jeju-do, but like literally yeah. we met and we just started hanging out every single day because we just clicked really well yeah like the same problems we were going through like the same exact boy problems <laughs> And then those boys left our lives. And now we are stuck with each other. <laughs> How old are you guys? I'm 19. Um, oh yeah, I'm also 19. Chloe's also 19. New York or Seoul? I say New York and I know Chloe's gonna say Seoul. But you know what I have the craziest suggestion for you? What? We should do study abroad in Korea. Dude! A junior year. You know, um, Second semester. Yeah, that's what Lundhe? I was thinking. Yeah, when's the Should we actually do that? Yeah, to be circle that day! I always have like romang about like how much I'm going to do. What's your plan or goal for 2024? Okay, new year, new me. Just like figure out what I want to do with my life. No, same. But also have a lot of fun. Have like in what fun. way? Just in every way. <laughs> just in every way. No, I just same. want to have fun. Um, oh my god, what are you like most excited for Thanksgiving? Because I was literally talking about it. What do you mean, what am I most excited for? What I mean, no, I'm just that? asking. I'm just asking. You think I'm about to say, like, the fucking turkey? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm most excited for. Uh, this, this is so bad because I'm going to say this and people are going to watch this and totally get the wrong idea of what I'm excited for. No, because we don't Because they're going to the think it's the arrival of a specific person and it's not. Okay, well, that was kind of it for um, <laughs> questions. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, um, see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>and the sun's already setting. I'm about to go out to meet like a friend that just came to New York for a visit. I'm gonna go to Soho, we're just gonna shop. This is like a very last minute decision because I felt like I haven't gone out in the past like two or three days. And I just decided to wear a beanie. Yeah. Oh dear, can you send me the address? Okay, okay.
Oh yeah. <laughs> We were texting. We were just saying random shit, and I was like, "I'm gonna go to sleep." He's like, "Boya," oh, yeah. and he called me, right? Yeah. I was like, "I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm really tired." Anyways, he's like, "Araso," and I was like, "Okay, bye." And then we ended the call, and I went straight to sleep. Yeah. Oh, you don't know missed call. What the fuck, <laughs> dude? I'm gonna clown that bitch. Can you give us your outfit details today? This is the top that I always wear 24/7 because it looks good on me. So there's a vintage shop that we always go to. Rose from Blackpink always goes there too. Funny thing, we found it first. Yeah. She found it. With her ex. No, I found it myself. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. He had no part in this. <laughs> We're gonna gatekeep. Kiss in our house. I wanna show you off. Oh. Okay, bye. I don't wanna be crazy no more Every time I think you're gonna walk out of my door I start to jump to the conclusion you don't love me no more Babe, give me something to work with, can you just reassure? I ran out of the Joe Malone one already. Wanna do the haul with me? It is the Green Tea Glow Plump Challenge. Plump hydration boost. Wait, this is Green Tea Challenge. This is the one. Wait, this is yeah. the one. Oh, beauty guru. Okay. Yeah. I'm so satisfied with my purchase today. I got two perfumes. One is Juliet has a gun. I got this new scent called Vanilla Vibes. It's like Loki smells like a hotel bathroom though. And I got the Fleur because I really like the TikToker that made this perfume. A lip tint from Bobby Brown, but I got the wrong color, so I got a return. And I got this cute jacket from the vintage shop. Loki looks like Korea. Oh, okay, you guys, it's like 7 p.m. I think like 7 45 p.m. right now I've been just on my phone for the entire day. So unproductive. I need to get ready now because I need to go out Today was the most unproductive day I've had this month, but it's fine like guys It's okay to have these kinds of days because we're all human, you know? As long as you get back on track the next day, you're fine. You just needed like a short break, you know? Where is my black eyeliner? Like my motto is work hard, play hard. Like genuinely, it's like work hard, play hard. I don't think I'm gonna take this camera. I think I'm gonna take this camera. Oh, people have been asking me on the comments when I used this for my SZA concert. Casio. I don't know what model this is megapixels digital camera ex s12 i don't know but yeah i'm gonna take this one i asked my friend today what the dress code is in new york if you go out mostly girls have to like dress up and i'm like do we really have to dress up tonight and he was like honestly what you're wearing right now which is like the windbreaker adidas is like fine for tonight i'm like bet like okay like uh, i wasn't even like planning to try anyways so that's gonna be my brother yeah what time are you even oh i don't know is he's not here yet are you gonna go with is he yeah let me join you okay oh, uh... Uh... okay well will's gonna come <gasps> i almost fucking burned my head that's so scary you want to see what I've been working on for my art project that allowed me to feel productive? Finish this within two fucking days. This oil paint, so I can't touch it. It's not dry yet. Let me just get changed for a second. Okay, so apparently we're going to Soho. I just got a call from my friends that we're going to Soho. Oh, 
같이 오셨나요? 이야! It's recording right now. <웃음> 19th. Yesterday was actually pretty fun. Like, we basically went to the DJ, like, music festival event thing yesterday. And it was, like, really fun. Like, uh, me and my four other friends were just, like, hanging out, um, just chilling and just, like, listening to the house and EDM music. It was really good. The songs were really good. And the DJ, I really liked the first one. I don't know his name though, but his set was really good. We're just like chilling and just like having fun. Somehow later on, I get pushed to the very front. I'm like literally like in front of the DJ booth. And on the other side, there's this really cute guy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like he's so cute. And we like make a bunch of eye contact. And like my friend, they're like, dude, like they, they notice. And they're like, dude, like go for it. I'm like, what do you mean go for it? There's nothing to like do. I'm like, what am I gonna do? Like ask for his Instagram on the spot? Like, no. So I just thought that exchanging eye contact would be like it for the night. But <laughs> little did I know, later on, after his friend's set like was over, he came around the DJ booth and we kind of like bumped into each other and he was like, because we made a bunch of eye contact, he first like approached me saying, what's your name? And I'm like, oh, my name is Chloe, like what's yours? And then like we started having like a 30 minute straight up conversation. I'm just like, okay. And then um, we're just talking about how he's like, planning to go somewhere for summer and I'm like, oh, you should come to Korea. Like you should text me, like what's your Instagram? And he's like, this was the part that like, killed me because i was like what's your instagram he's like oh fuck instagram what's your phone number i was like <gasps> bye like okay like here's my phone number and he texted me and um i went home after that because i was really tired but yeah that's pretty much it for last night it was pretty fun so cute Just tell me why I do shit 